Let us pray. Good and gracious God, light of the world, too often we spend our energy and our efforts with with things that do not produce light and love. Too often we find ourselves following paths and people who do not help spread light and love. Too often we ourselves find ourselves in moments and in endeavors that do not serve others and do not spread light and love. O oh God, as creator of all light and love, as father of our risen Savior, we have gathered here today because there's too much darkness in our lives. We have gathered here today because there are too many people who are spreading darkness, either through acts of violence or with the wrong message. So on this day, as we remember the saints that have lived among us, as we remember the work of the saints to help us become the church and the people that we are today, we recognize that they themselves were ministers of light and love. As we take a look at their life from a big picture, now from afar, we recognize that often they shone their light on us a light that guided our path. So likewise, O oh God, we pray that we might become like those saints, ministers of your light and love, shining light on the path for others to follow and, and to see, to help move this community, this state, this nation, and this world to be a bit closer to you, that we might be able to help all people. And following your light and love, O oh God, is one that requires work, requires steadfast faith. And so as we have lit these candles today in remembrance of those saints, Help us to celebrate their lives by doing for others as they did for us. In Jesus' name, we pray these words and more. Amen. I remembered to thank Joe in the bulletin for being my other two hands. However, I left the soloist name out, Austin White, and I wanted to acknowledge and thank Austin for singing. The saints wouldn't want us to be sad, so we're going to do a spiritual call, sit down, serve it, and the answer is, I can't sit down, I just got to heaven, and I can't sit down. <laughs>